Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We have the seven deadly sins as streamers. Mm -mm. Wonder what these about to be. Who you think? Who you think you can see on here? Um, you don't know as many streamers. I don't know as many streamers, but uh, what's his name? Uh, Which one? The Sneeko dude. Oh, you think Sneeko gonna be on here? It, it gotta be, child. For which one you think? I don't know. For, I don't know about mm. that, that part. But okay, okay. He just seems to be a little... What about speed? I mean, possibly. I mean, but I... But what, for sure. What about Aiden? Possibly. Mm. But like you said, I don't know like a lot of... Like, SQC? Only reason why I'm saying like some of those can fall under on the greed. Mm. Some, some can fall under some type of one with like addiction. Mm, okay, you know what I'm saying? You. Like, uh, you never know, man. But maybe, but we'll see. We'll see. I like I like to see some of these, uh, how y'all interpret and viewpoint on some of these content creators, mm. man. You know? So, with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoy today's visuals, like it in with a thumbs up. We're highly appreciated. But let's hop into it, y'all. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's about. You ready? I'm ready. Let go. <laughs> The seven deadly sins are a classification of major sins committed by humans in day-to-day -day life. And there are streamers who perfectly embody these sins. Oh, damn. Starting with the sin of envy. Envy is a feeling of resentment towards someone else's possessions and luck. In this case, the perfect reflection of envy wow. is none other than Bruce Ray, more commonly known as Bruce Tropomorph. Bruce Tropomorph is commonly... Oh. Okay. So, oh. so with the preview of who on here, okay. Do you do you, I, I and I'll say this. In recent, recent, I can see why you would say this. Mm. I can see why you would say this with the antics Bruce has been doing lately. Mm, okay. Do I okay. agree with everything that Bruce do? No. Can I see the viewpoint of reason why Bruce do does some of the stuff he does? I can see the viewpoint. I I just wish he was kind of let it go and focus on himself. Mm. I think sometimes you can get to like like we always say sometimes you, a lot of people get lost in seeing others. Yeah, kind of. It's rude to say this, but it, it's kind of what it is. Surpass you, mm. especially when you started before them. You hear the growth before them. A lot of people wrote your way or was inspired by you, but they, okay. as far as the viewership and likeness, has passed you at this point. Mm. And so I think you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you sometimes you got to fall back and just focus on yourself. And I think sometimes most of the time, when you focus on yourself, you can better prosper. But when you constantly looking looking at the next man, looking at you know what I'm saying, or don't want shots at the next man, it can it can it can make you you know even if what you might be saying is is the, <laughs> even if what you're saying is the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I people got you. can determine that is you know. I just, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously Bruce is younger than us, and I just, I like, I, I love seeing his success, the success yeah. story he had. I love seeing the growth. I became like, I was like, oh, Bruce ain't ain't a bad dude. I love but, seeing everyone succeed in in a positive way, or yeah, in, you know, because you could be out here doing God knows what. Yeah, you yeah, know, you yeah. You could chose anything else that's not, you know, but yeah. I just wish Bruce, but also Bruce has always been that dude. Yeah. Like what Bruce doing, he's always did. It just y'all became more fan became more fans of the other people he's attacking, so you know, I don't know. It's just crazy. You know, and to always get into arguments over my new things with popular streamers, and it always comes back to one thing jealousy. First, it was jealousy towards Kai Sinat, Your Age, and even Lil Yoi. Messages of Bruce drop him off and his moderator had been leaked, saying that Kai Sinat only caused Bruce for content and some comments about a &P was also me however you can't if that's how he feel that's how he feel though you know what i'm saying some people do do that some some people it's content friendships and sometimes it's real friendships some people might look at situation you you're gonna honestly you're gonna experience that in life 
you're going to experience people that you feel like everybody experienced. You feel as though some people come into your life, you thinking we got a real friendship. On their end, it's kind of more of a use. Like, what what can I give out of you? You know what I'm saying? And so, if he feel that way, he he's who are we to tell him his, his feelings ain't valid? You know what I'm saying? But also, I also seen it in his light that he's one one of friendships for content purposes as well. So. Hmm. Recently, an altercation with FaZe Clan confirmed the envious nature of Bruce Dropping Off as negative comments towards FaZe members were made, especially towards Plague Boy Max, who even idolized Bruce coming up, but now is envious at his success as a streamer. Hello? Is that Max for real? I know, wait, is that Max for real? Somebody let me know in the comments. That's crazy, bro. Max, who even idolized Bruce coming up, but now is envious at his success as a streamer. However, later FaZe Banks had leaked that the reason Bruce was acting out was because Bruce wanted to join FaZe Clan in the first place, confirming his jealousy towards FaZe. Nigga, you think I give a f if Lacey is locked? F that fat white ass nigga, you think I give a f FaZe? Stop talking about me, I don't care about you. You're beefing with a wall, stop doing it. Nobody care about you, FaZe don't care about you nigga. You wanted to join FaZe like you were saying on a FaceTime call? But you ain't get that shot. You're salty now, I guess. Speaking of FaZe Banks, he is the perfect embodiment of the sin of wrath. Wrath is defined as a strong, vengeful anger towards someone. In this case, FaZe Banks decided to go all out, mm. coming off the Bruce drop him off, as he had made bad comments about FaZe, even going to lengths where he made comments about his ex-girlfriend. Not only this, Banks had decided to call her and post it on Twitter, showing the lengths he would go not to take disrespect towards his name. The next sin on this list is lust, which is defined as a strong sexual desire towards someone. In this case, it's a lot of people that can go up under this. The lustful is damn near every streamer, though. Want me to tell you, I know he ain't going to say the person, but the main person you can put in this category is Deshae. And there ain't no disrespect. They're just calling a spade a spade and telling the truth on the situation. I don't know the man. But just, it's just based off of what we see. Yeah. And what we see is, is full-fledged lustfulness and it's cringe at the same time bro it's, it's like it's cringe it's like what's the purpose what's the reason but hey do you my guy women and the perfect embodiment of this is mr maxwell dent more commonly known as plague boy max plague boy max has admitted to being lustful as he is a proud gooner which is someone who excessively does the deed and he admits the gooning in all of his friends room and even going seven times in one day. Not only this, Plague Boy Max had admitted to running trains on women multiple times and was even so lustful to the point where it became his downfall at Las Vegas as he had paid two female dancers for multiple private dances but got scammed multiple times to the point where he was abandoned in a random hallway all due to wow. his extreme desires which he should contain. In fact, Plague Boy Max's loss has become so strong to the point he lost over males such as Duke Dennis. Hold up, I'm like this. The things that they do to get a nut off. I think I damn near ate her on her period one time. Dad, I know you're in here. I'm sorry, but I went on an all time spank session today. Really? I'm talking about I beat my meat to sleep. I woke up, B. You know how I wake and bake? I wake and beat. It was a different type of day. I was, I don't know why. And it is low key the most I slept in all time, like ever. Like I spanked my record amount of time, bro. Real sh I say probably like, gotta be like six to seven times. The next sin on the list is gluttony, which is defined as the habitual greed Whoa. or excessive eating. And the perfect depiction of this sin is none other than FaZe Lacey. FaZe Lacey actually used to play for a high school basketball team. I was in good shape. However, after COVID, when schools closed down, Lacey would indulge in large amounts of fast food every single day. And this paired with the fact that he didn't get any exercise led to him being morbidly obese. And this- That's not gluttony though, bro. Like- Y'all like y'all just because somebody has weight on them, and I ain't saying it because I'm I'm the that that's not necessarily gluttony. Because people fail to realize how, how the body a lot of people online have failed to realize how the body works because mon, people that will truly understand won't, you know. Basically what I'm trying to say, just because someone might be out of shape or obese doesn't necessarily mean they sit around and pig out all the time. 
I can't speak on the situation. I don't really know. I don't know him. I'm just. And I don't know what he was like. If you allow me to was, finish, I would be able to. Why he was put in this category, or was he on stream, uh, stream or something like doing certain things, or just like I don't know. I can't really speak. On I'm. This. I'm just speaking on on the I fact that saying. because it's other representation of gluttony on online. Now, some people that's all they do sit around and eat, 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 eat. Some people, honestly, it's just the lack of. Being able to, whether somebody might be working a lot, they're not able to fully uh, exercise as much as they they, they used to. Life, life is there's life situation that com- comes and goes that, but just because he might not be as in shape as he used to be doesn't necessarily fall in it. But again, like you like you did state, I don't know his eating habits just because, but just because he might be necessarily bigger than you know. That doesn't necessarily categorize as gluttony, you know? That's now, it. Oh. You didn't let me finish in the first place. Okay, I said I got what you said. I said what I said. I this was harmful for Lacey's confidence, as he admitted to getting bullied when he first showed his face on Twitch, to the point where he wanted to kill himself. However, Lacey has now been losing weight, but still to this day, Lacey has been haunted by the sin, as many people have been accusing Faze Lacey of taking an Ozempic, which is a drug used to lose weight by many celebrities. Talking about celebrities, the next rumor is Jerry Wu, also known as Faze Silky, who is a perfect embodiment of the sin of Slot. Slot is defined as the reluctance to work or make effort. Every time Faze posts her streaming hours, Silky somehow manages to end up in the last place, which is clearly indicating that he does not care about streaming as much. Moreover, Silkington was clowned by his fans on the internet for not streaming for over two months, which led to his transformation, which was in fact worse than his old self. 2021 Silky has now transformed due to a descent of slot as someone who does too much in all of the things he is involved in. Invite Silky, you can go. You're invited. Uh, I mean, nah, uh, it's, it's I just cool. didn't think you wanted to because you're not streaming. Nah, I mean, nah, it's, it's, it's cool. I'm not really like, you feel me? Like, I'm not, it's, If you wasn't invited, don't ask to go. If you wasn't invited, don't ask to go. And don't, don't assail Invites I understand. That's in the air. You just want to go, you, you and know what I'm saying? Go, go in the just be y'all. Shut the up, nigga. The next two sins has had the worst consequences. Firstly, the sin of pride. Pride is a deep pleasure or satisfaction mm. due to someone's own achievements. And the perfect depiction of this is the streamer Rashid Josh Gilbert, also known as Your Rage Gamer. Recently, you, you think your rage is prideful? From, from what you were saying. You know, I don't so, know who. Honestly, I, my bad. Go ahead. No, my bad. I was just saying I don't. I don't know. I was like just, honestly, with most of the ones he's talking about, I can't honestly. That's I, why I ain't pause on those. And I don't really know much about your rage. Like I like I see him. Like I catch him. You know here and there. But as far as like stuff that be going on and people really be like keeping up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't keep up with people. Like I don't like be knowing all the stuff yeah, that be yeah. going on in the I background and stuff I like feel. that. Like I just don't. But I'm here to listen, and I may piggyback if someone is said, and you know. But I'm gonna tell you a streamer. I feel from from a clip we saw recently. I feel like it's those is a little prideful. And that's Aiden Ross. I, I do feel like Aiden is very, very prideful. And the only reason why is, is some of the comments he has Now, said, if he was put in this category, then I may. Because I do see more stuff about, you know, what he be saying and what he be on. You know, opposed to like, again, I don't keep up. like, But he has been coming across like my timeline a little bit more than others. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm like, your rage, I think, you know what I'm saying... I think Aiden would have felt more into very prideful. But then you'll have somebody say, man, he, he's supposed to big himself up, you know? Look like what you're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be your first, your biggest supporter, your biggest fan should be you first. My, my thing right? is, yeah, most definitely, always. But I feel like people fail to realize it's not like how you, like, what you say about yourself or bigging yourself up or being whatever, but it's, it's you how act. you do it. It's how you act. It's how you go about it. Ooh. Like, is it being arrogant or you being cocky with it? Like, there's Ooh. a way to, like, be confident in yourself and know that, like, I'm that girl or you that yeah. dude, you know? But... Because when you put it like that, see, it's a lot of people you can throw in that category then. Yeah. There's a lot of content creators that are very prideful. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of them. And all... And... 
Nobody's, I don't know. Yeah. Ulrich gave his pride led to him getting his eye injured in an altercation with the ax. He didn't listen to anyone warn him to wear goggles when slicing down trees and his excessive hubris led to him hitting his eye with an ax. This is a serious injury. However, your rage still remains prideful as he believes he is an anime. He even purchased anime chains and thinks he's Kakashi with an eye patch. I don't even know how to start a video like this off. Not gonna lie. For those of you that don't know, I got into a freak. A little freak little accident on stream the other day, a few days ago. Um, I'm basically just gonna explain the situation where I'm at right now, what I was thinking at the time, and yeah. And finally, the loss I must- I said this is I healed. I don't even know. Uh -oh. I don't even know. I know about the story of him hitting his eye. Yeah, I seen that. Seen, seen that on uh, Twitter, she, I think. She, she was like, hey, you got any updates? I said, I, was I don't just know. Concerned. Like, I did see that, and yeah. I was like, like, I don't care who you are. Like, yeah, I was just yeah, be concerned yeah. about it. You know, as far as like, when somebody like get hurt, like a yeah, free accident yeah, yeah. like that. I'm like, I just saw him pop back, uh, pop back out with anybody. the uh, with the eye patch, and I was just like, how he got an eye patch? But yeah. as far as now, I don't, I don't even know. Like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm kind of like you, like under radar with that situation. But um, I, I, I get what he can mean though by being prideful. Uh, also, like I, I will say, I, I you do. You did see the like a sudden change in like I guess character mm -hmm. with your rage a little bit when he uh, drawing phase and, and had got the kick uh, partnership, mm -hmm. but I don't be tuned into your rage like that to really know like how prideful it. That, but like I said, it's other people out there I feel like are super super boastful, prideful, and and, and very arrogant mm -hmm. with how they move and go about things. Yeah, that are worse than your rage. I think it's a lot on life. Mm -hmm. And we clearly see it all the time, you know? It's deadly as sin, which is an intense and selfish desire for some and especially power. And the perfect embodiment of this sin is none other than Duke Dennis. Duke Dennis is an extremely greedy person as he attracts every woman he sets his Oh, oh, this some hate shit. <laughs> this some hate ass. You know some, it's, some hate You know some, it's different being greedy and you intentionally being greedy. And then me going back to you just being that dude and you may just have like this aura about yourself that yeah. just attract people. You can't help that. Like, like hey, that's you a, can't help that. You talking about greed? <laughs> Nigga, this ain't greed, bro. Like, <laughs> bro. Like, he greedy. He get all the women. He ain't saving none for the others. I feel you. I ain't gonna lie. You know what that is? <laughs> that's some distant hating shit, bro. No. Like, no. I, 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 maybe I, it's lighthearted. No, I reason, don't know. no, no. Niggas be on this shit for real, and I'm saying that from being a you, 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 yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah. Not a, I'm a woman. Female still. I'm a woman. Female woman. I'm that's a lady. all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lady. Should be like a lady. lady. <laughs> but uh, I've been, I've been around. I've seen, seen stuff like this happen yeah. before, and I've seen niggas be like on some jealousy shit. Be like. Damn, bro. Every time we go somewhere, you got to pop your shit, nigga. Like, damn. And you say not even doing say some of the hoes for me, man. Save <laughs> some hoes for the rest of us, bro. Like, God damn. You be yeah. like, nigga, I ain't trying to holler at the, the bitch coming to me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Okay. So you can't, like, don't be a hating ass nigga. That means step your game up. Mm. Understand how to, you know what I'm saying, increase your swag, increase your style. But let me see. And then maybe, you know what I'm saying? Because some people, like, if you, if you got a capability of growing face, you Quit trying to cut your facial hair off and grow your facial hair. Or increase your swag up or get in shape or something yeah, like about yourself that okay. might help boost you to be more attractive. You know what I'm saying? You know what you would need to work on to be able to become more attractive to other people. Mm -hmm. Work on yourself, my guy. Well, let me see what he say, though. <laughs> awesome. And this clearly represents his greedy nature. Not only this. Duke Dennis is extremely athletic, probably the most athletic streamer in the whole world. <laughs> and by his greedy nature, he does not let others win. And so, so when y'all be in my DM saying, Duke, my girl on this app, nigga, your bitch. I don't want your You can have your bitch, nigga. I don't want, I don't want no bitch. If I wanted any bitch, bro, I would. Real tight, yo. <laughs> I be, I'm so good on everybody. I want what I want. And I'm gonna get what I want. 
No cap, I'm gonna get what I want. I swear to God, I'm gonna get what I want. Y'all, y'all playing? Y'all think I'm playing? Watch. Bro, <clears throat> we don't give a f about what you're gonna do in 2024. We don't wanna see that. Shit. We don't wanna hear that. Shit. We don't wanna see no inspirational ass quotes, no none of that, bro. Just do it. Just <laughs> or shit. the Facts. You got your you got your little plan for 2024, and so do everybody else. Lock in, do that. Shit. Don't tell nobody your plans. Pop out silently, like grind silently. We don't want to hear that. Shit. Dukes behind you. <laughs> 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 Why the man tooted up like it's a Tuesday? Dude got everybody on. <laughs> Dude got that man, that man tooted up on a hot Tuesday. That last one has to be very like satire. I, I will hope. All of them has to be a little bit sat uh, satire. I think this. I think well. Because like I said, like you like a lot of the ones, like I said, I can't really speak on or really know much about it, like the phase. Phase yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't, really I don't know, know about the phase uh, clan like that. Like I know you rage, but I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, like I don't yeah, yeah. keep up with everything he doing or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like tuning in to like you know stuff like that. And so, I say most of the stuff like when we hear about like other people, other streamers, yeah. and like don't get it twisted. We ain't the content creators be like, I don't, I don't watch YouTube. I watch. Other I don't watch content. streamers, man. I, don't, I support. Nah, I support like, people. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, like right before we record, just to get me in the mood, man, I like to pop Twitch up, and I just check out who who live right now, just to get some good, get the energy flowing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Get in that content space. I ain't finna be, man. I don't watch these motherfuckers, bro. I just do me, bro. Yeah, well, why you me. why your content the same as the next person? Yeah, cause you watching, but I just don't know everyone. I don't know. And by the time we by the time we find out information. I really be feeling like we lost. I'll be like, damn, we so behind, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, everybody already know this. I'll be like, damn, bro, time to tune in and find the shit out of ourselves, too, bro. <laughs> like, God, leave. But, I've been trying to get out of my little bubble because I do just be in my own world. Yeah. And most of the time, if I, if, I, if she hears something, it'll be cut from me and I'll be yeah. related to her. But yeah, we got, we, like, I done checked out of your Ray stream before. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I done checked out a lot of content creators. I, like it's a lot of people I watch, man. A lot of people I go to, I watch on a daily. Uh, a lot of people I watch, they only post weekly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Th that we don't react to. I just like enjoy the enjoy, content. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But hey, but oh, uh, but I don't know about all these. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just as far as yeah, like, but it was cool. Though. True representation. But y'all spend most of. Let us know if they got it right. They got it wrong. Let us know in the comment section down below. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ New Kid. This is we are we are.